so today we are witnessing the unveiling of the Vikram 1 rocket of the sky route and also the new facility at Hyderabad called Infinity Campus where they will be manufacturing this rocket in numbers. So Honorable Prime Minister came online and then did that great honors. So we are celebrating the result of the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister to transform the space sector by opening the space sector. So Skyroot was one of the first company uh, started by Pavan and Bharat uh, to build rockets in India from the private. Uh, and uh, this has been enabled by the vision of the government to open the space sector, enabling technology, facility access, etc. from ISRO. So when I was secretary, I had the fortune to uh, release that space sector policy uh, with the support of the government and also enable the connection between startups to the uh, ISRO facilities so they can launch from Sri Ricotta, they can access various support required so that's what is happening. Today they have reached after so a few years of development to reach the orbital launching capability. This will be the first history that a company in India is building rocket. It is the day like SLV-3 built in India by ISRO. So today we can celebrate the rocket of that class being built by a private company. I think this is a great event. So Prime Minister also say, uh, saying that now present generation Gen Z's are showing interest uh, about this. What do you think? Yeah, Gen Z is the new generation. Uh -huh. So what he is trying to tell is that the Gen Z is to into the core domains of technology. They are not into something that you think non-technology. So they are go into deep technology. He said that Gen Z coders, Gen Z designers, Gen Z developers are part of this journey. I think that's what he celebrated. So he, he told that the founders of this company are inspiration for the Gen Z. The Honorable Prime Minister inaugurated virtually the Infinity Campus of Skyroot and the Vikram 1 rocket that will be launched very soon. It's a very momentous occasion. It's not very often that the Honorable Prime Minister personally uh, inaugurates a private sector uh, uh, entity and this obviously shows the significance that this has, this Infinity Campus has in the overall journey that India has undertaken in the space sector. Uh, I think it's a very great day for all of us. Uh, four or five years ago, the space reforms were announced by the uh, government of India. Uh, and uh, today we can see the outcome of those space reforms uh, in, 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 uh, in front of others, everyone. Uh, Skyroot has done extremely well in terms of attracting investment, in terms of putting infrastructure together, the Infinity Campus, the Max-Q Campus, and also other things they're planning in terms of what they put inside and in terms of the rocket that we see right here in front of us. And we're looking forward to the launch, launch of this rocket very soon. Sir, we've got uh, 50 launches uh, by 2030. Uh, where are we and uh, how do you think uh, we will be? Well, obviously this is an aspirational goal that the Honorable Prime Minister has given us. Uh, right now, we have not really started the small satellite vehicle launches. Uh, SSLV has done only two or three uh, developmental launches. So now we will start with the Skyroot, with SSLV, which HAL will be making with Agnikol. Uh, and pretty soon we will be getting to a much larger number. Uh, the Pulsaga Patnam launch center is coming up. That will be ready in about a year and a half to two years. And from that we'll launch the small, small rockets. So I expect that by 2030, which is the target, we will have uh, launches from Skyroot, from Agnikol, from SSLV, and of course ISRO's own launches of PSLV and LVM3. And all together, uh, we are looking forward to getting to the 50 target. It's not an easy target to meet, a personal target, but I'm very happy that the Honorable Prime Minister personally has given this target and will be monitoring on how quickly we make the progress. Today is a very historic day uh, that uh, our Honorable uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji himself uh, has inaugurated this factory, this beautiful factory, and also unveiled our rocket, uh, India's first private commercial rocket. And uh, this rocket uh, will be a historic rocket for India uh, because this will be launching satellite to orbit, making India among the three countries in the world who can launch satellite to orbit, uh, you know, pre where a private company can launch satellite to orbit. I think this is a very uh, proud moment for all of us. And at Skyroot, we are very happy uh, to be able to scale. As a young startup, uh, seven years ago, we have now scaled to 1,000 people team, and we build these uh, factories. Uh, we have have two factories now we are putting up another great campus in Andhra Pradesh and uh, with this uh, I think like you know this is just our busy beginning we still feel that it's the beginning of our journey and soon you know we'll scale further next year we're going to early next year we're going to launch this rocket to, uh, to orbit and then we'll do more and more launches uh, uh, coming here and then uh, we'll also be we build one of the world's largest space tech campuses as well uh, and also like uh, meet the Honorable Prime Minister's mission uh, of you know meeting 50 launches per year by 2030 you know I'm sure like Skyroot will play a significant 
will roll to it. And in fact, we are very happy to hear Honorable Prime Minister uh, address, talk about Skyroot, talk about our mission, uh, and also congratulated us in this journey and also uh, called Skyroot as an inspiration for other startups and entrepreneurs.